the best season of SAO is starting with the most depressing thing ever. Hirito is dual wheeling, bro. He's on a wheelchair and he's just hugging the swords and his flux light is fried. Because at the end of season 3, right, episode 24, what happens? We're getting under attack. And some shit happened, and Kirito's flux light got fried, and now we're just controllers kind of unplugged. What's gonna happen? I wanna know what's happening outside of the simulation, because inside, we're still preparing for war. Kirito's getting gaslit. The Integrity Knight knows that Pontifex has to be defeated for the sake of the world, but Berkeley didn't give a good enough fucking explanation, so it's still, like, our fault. I guess it makes sense to, like, maintain order and peace within these fucking monkey knights so that they don't cause panic, but just stupid that we went out of our way to do that, and this is what we get. Quinella was right. None of these monkeys deserve rights, man. These stupid idiots all deserve to be just put to work. Genuinely. The more I... <laughs> the more I stream, the more monkeys show up in chat, the more I become like Quinella, man. I am just a couple streams away from becoming a very jaded and cynical. I mean, I pretty much am. I already am a jaded, cynical fucking dictator in my streams, but hey, at least we can have fun with it. Let's begin today's reaction. That's right, it's under attack at the end last episode, right? <gasps> Kirito somehow knew that the village was under attack. I guess his instincts, I guess? Kirito. Surely everything's gonna be fine. Raids! Raids in the village? Ruined village? Low key? What the raid happened, man? Fuck these people. I'm joining the dark territory and burning this place down, too. None of these motherfuckers deserves our, our savior, bro. We're gonna save them, they're gonna blame us for it. Goblin attack! Let's go! Let's go, goblins! Fuck them up! Man, it's been a while since we've seen the goblins, man. And I am, auth like, genuinely cheering for the side of the goblins. I am. Based on what we've seen and how shitty the humans were last episode, and maybe these humans didn't do it, but a part of me is just, like, getting so indifferent. I'm just becoming numb to it. I'm like, fuck it. Goblins, stampede it, dude. Fuck this village. Yeah, take Selka and get out. Take Selka and get out, bro. I'm ready. Why are they not fleeing? Oh shit, Alice dropping in! What the fuck? Wait, what about fall damage? Alright, Alice dropping in? That drop! That was such a cool entrance, what the fuck? She landed just... What is... She did the most chuny fucking drop, bro. Look at this shit. Arisa Zuberga. Or Synthesis 31, actually. Dad, fuck you, Dad. I hate the dad, man. Why do you not evacuate? Him? Yes, abandon your mansion. I hope your mansion gets pillaged. I hope the goblins just like rape your entire mansion straight up. Fuck you. Everyone here, just rule the village. Take Selka and go. Everyone else, just burn them down. I hate them so much, dude. Possessions. Possessions are more important to him than the lives. Literally sacrificing the villagers here so that his mansions can be protected. And while saying, for the sake of the village, we must fight against these goblins. Like, so fucking cringe. I hate them so much. Let's go, goblins. Fuck the law, man. Pebble Index ain't even thing anymore. Selka, the only redeemable person here. I mean, she is not redeemable. She she's a good person from the beginning. She's a criminal. Yep. You stay here and fight them. What? The intention. The integrity night aura, bro. The hockey right now. <sighs> the craziest thing is like, I like Chudelkin more than this guy. Isn't that crazy right now? Straight up, Chudelkin is a better character than the village Baldi. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> that's, that's insane. 
that that's actually insane this village like i hate them so much more than quinella more than chudokim bro like this baldy is this absolute scum right now oh. let's just get out of here bro well, you can do that? She's pulling up rank? I don't know she could do that. Wait, do you actually not know that he's integrity? Wait. They just don't know. I thought that we explained to them that we went to the fucking... We got her punishment and we created a fucking knight. Like, are you serious? Trip! Oh, she wielding the blade! Yeah. Synthesis 31. Let's go. 30 command. I kept saying 31. I fucked up. My bad. It's Al Synthesis 30, bro. Let's fucking go. This intro was so good. Yeah. Now you better listen. Osmanthus Blade. Aww. The same can't be said about dad, though. I knew there was no way you could be a criminal. Dad's probably still like. The dad has always just been anti Alice from the beginning. Alright, well, he listened to the law, right? That's why he was so, you know, anti Alice because she was a criminal before. Mm, I still don't like him. I don't care. He's just following orders. At the end of the day, he's just a fucking dog that can't fucking critically think and, you know, come up with his own, like, free will motives. He just following the law. So even right now, yeah, he's just following the law. That's why it looks good, but still fuck him. Nah, let the goblins take care of them, bro. We do have a dragon like i don't know because i just never seen dragons in action yet like if you've seen game of thrones like dude the dragons go fucking crazy there the breath attack yeah we have amayori yeah <laughs> with her gauntlet <laughs> Still calls us Eum, remember, in like season 3 in the beginning of the cave, they did call Kirito and Yuju Eum as well. Wonder what Eum means to the Dark Territory people. Damn. Like, like, I know that Eum is obviously referring to the fucking humans, no shit, but like, that's the funniest thing. Stupid monkeys will be like, what do you mean you don't know what Eum means? It's referring to the humans, no fucking shit, retard. I'm talking about, is that a fucking slur? Is like, why are they calling them Eums, right? It must be some way of seeing superior and thinking like these are filthy Eums or something. <laughs> Palm goblins? We got some orcs, I guess, ogres? There's definitely fan art of this dude. And maybe not Quinella, but maybe with Alice. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Yo, the eye! The eye! <gasps> is the eye back? Oh! What the fuck is a different color though? It's a red color. Okay, the eye is back. No more no longer sealed. Thank you, Okay, I, I, I thought that that was like a special, like, it's gonna be a permanent thing, but no, okay, it's back, it's back to normal, basically it's just healed. Let's go! Morika. 
So powerful, man. And like, have we seen release recollection from Alice? I'm just trying to think and I don't think so, right? Because the extent of her powers stopped against the fight against Yu-Gi-Oh and Kirito. And then we got exploded out of the wall, right? Release recollection was never shown. It was never shown. Okay, they're hiding it still. Okay, okay, okay. Hype. Alice standing on business against all these fucking illegal immigrants trying to fucking break through, bro. Let's fucking go. Yeah, that's right. Border Patrol Alice. Let's fucking go. Get out of here. Go back to your own country. What do you mean, you people? Let's fucking go, Alice. Amayori too, man. Amayori breath. Holy shit. Like, I truly underestimated the powers of the dragons because in season three, yes, we've seen the dragons, you know, uh, fly around, but we never really saw them in combat. We only saw the integrity knights. So, like, the dragon breath attack into the village, that shit was crazy, man. I hope the mansion got burnt down. Yo, Amayori should have burnt down that fucking mansion. Like, just the Baldi's mansion. Yeah, burn that shit that only the mansion, nothing else. Are we leaving again? Maybe at the end of season four? I'm home. What? Do you think dad's gonna say, welcome home, Okaeri? Gonna say, criminal scum! Bye, Selka. We're leaving Selka again? Alright, bye-bye. Where are we going now? Kind of a flag there, huh? Even if I fall on the battlefield, my heart definitely will. As in, she'll die by the end of the fucking war, but her spirit will somehow come home and rest in peace. Oh! Back to the human side! Back to the human side! Okay, okay, what's going on here? Death gun? Yeah, these are the invaders, right? Yeah, this is the scene that we left off in episode 24. So what happened? Um, we were supposed to have a warship, you know, escorting us, but it left early, remember? And then Kikoka had to call the guy that we're talking to, like, you know, as we saw the ship fucking leave. And then this happened. So they were somehow able to manipulate the warship. They were all in on it together. Why? I don't know. Also, how much is Quinella involved in this, right? I, I, I have no clue. Maybe it's completely different motives right now and they're not really working on behalf of Quinella and there's no contact, but Quinella did seem very confident in everything too, but I don't know. We got the two people from the GGO, you know, side we saw in episode one of season three showing up though. And then Kirito gets fried. Yep, this is when he gets fried. Oi. Yeah, we went to the upper branch or something, right? Evacuation. Okay, still here, still here. So we escaped. Oh shit, that's not mad. Damn, girl! She mad! Alright, but he's fried right now. What are you gonna do about that? And when the fuck is Asuna Link starting? Man, they're a cap and hard. Like, what the fuck do you know? Like, Kirito's a little vegetable right now. What could you possibly do to return him? Okay. Do they still have, you know? They still raided here. We're still under siege. Hmm. It's a stalemate for now? Light cube cluster. Listened again. Okay. Control lines. Inoperable. Main power down. 
But we have backup power, the screws. Enough with the analogies, just tell me! Okay. Nuclear reactor? What the fuck you give me the OG Sun fucking toast service for? Come on, this ain't a lolly. Ah. We had the prototypes, right? No? American! <laughs> well, they're too fat, they're too big to be Asian. <laughs> okay, you got. Alright, I see you! They're American, we know they're American. How did it leak? We got a leaker in the team? If there is no leaker directly from our team, then is the leaker not Quinella that somehow told them about this? Is this Quinella's trump card? She was very confident. It could be that or someone directly from our team, but I just don't know anyone, you know, personable enough from our team to really guess. But Quinella just keeps, you know, being back to the conversation because of how confident she was with the full load test and everything. I don't know. To seize Alice. Hmm. There's also that one guy with the ponytail who was actually the bad person in the origin 4 of the beginning of Project Arisization that introduced the concept of like sin and, you know, corruption, right? That person with the ponytail that, you know, uh, Asuna crossed the corridors one time and saw back. There's that guy too, but I don't know him enough to just make a guess like that, right? So... Alright, Alice's luck light is very safe, but what about Kirito's? Can't eject Alice's light cube. How? Well, when? Okay, so it's a stalemate right now. It's unlikely that they'll use explosive. They can't really get to anything that's important, and if we're waiting on backup, we should win. But I fully expect these dudes to link start. I want the two dudes to fucking get in the game as well. Asahi? That's right. The warship that was supposed to escort us. おそらくあのクロズクメの連中は自衛隊の上層部にチャンネル中がアリスのライトキューブを確保した後だろうね。オッケー。ってことはあいつらただのテロリストじゃ。ここに専門家がいたら気づくかもしれないですよ。あの、
現実世界との連絡コンソールを目指したのでしょうキクさん、を要請するためにね。Make a backup! それは、容易なことではなかったはずです。だが、ログを確認できませんでしたが、どうやら彼は、氷協会との戦いで仲間を失ったようです。UGO! あとき、彼は激しく自分を責めていた。言い換えれば、自分で自分のフラットライトを攻撃していたのです。Attack? And then the fried, right? ショートによって発生したサージ電流が、yeah. STL の出力をシュート君の自己破壊衝動は現実的なものとなり、As a result, Kirito's self destructive impulse was actualized. Huh, I thought it was just him just getting fried off that in interaction, but he was like beating himself up. Then the impulse was actualized, and the ego was deactivated. And I did see like Asuna like come down, but it was like more of just like a visualization. I think it was just like an imagery, not that she's actually shown into the game, but just Asuna trying to help even though she feels helpless. Ego deactivated. How do we get it back up? <laughs> it means he's a fucking vegetable, so we need to activate his ego. How do you do that? Yeah. The self image. One self. Oh, we're getting deep into the pseudoscience again, man. Like, what is a soul that was basically the fluck like within like a brain cell, right? But this is like determining one's ego, self image. Want conception as the term myself. It's like, are, it's like, who am I? Am I Kaka TV or is Kaka TV me? Who is this sense of self that you've created? So, this no, yeah, I'm gonna know you get there. Jibun, what can I show you? This real or can I go in a car? Okay, okay, a bunch of bullying decisions, true or false. Linko senpai, wa, you don't get any, no, you know, mother, tabetai. She's watching her wait for Kaiba. Sumari, Sorega, Link, Kiritakun, no, by Fractorite, no, dive, boom, wa, mukis, this. しかし、問題起きるのは、おそらく、染みついた記憶による反射的リアクションのみでしょう。うーん、フラックライトは実は、ダメージ。実は、実は、エゴディアクティベート。And everything he's doing are reflective reactions triggered. And that's why, like, he resonates whenever the sword is taken away, right? He's, he's always reaching for the sword. These are all just, like, intuitive instincts. 自分が誰なのか、何をするべきなのかもわからず、自分からは何も言うこと。So, how do we fix that shit, Higa? Yes! I'm telling you, just fucking kidding. That fucking other pot has been dating me all of season three. Please, just get in there! Bitch, you've been benched for an entire season. Get in there! Jesus fucking Christ. All right. <laughs> that's, that's the episode, man. Today. Oh, wait, wait. Is this, po this post credit scene? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is this? What is this? Hold on. This is post credit. Wait, I thought it was a preview. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. You giving me 20 seconds of post credit scene? What the fuck? All right, let's get it. It's the GGO guys again. You going in? Link start? Oh shit, that's him, right? And this is the guy that I think was affiliated with the American government, right? So, American military or ex military people. Dudes who were content with just killing people in GGO without even looting them because they don't even care about that. They're here for the love of the game. I'm not exactly sure what their goal is with Project Addicization, but they're going in probably, right? They should go in, right? And then where will they spawn? Where will they spawn? Dark Territory side? Because their goal is to also extract Alice, right? At the end of the day, everything points towards how important Alice really is and what it means to, you know, eject her Flucklight and, and then use what? They'll have power over their different simulations and stuff like that? I'm not really sure. Maybe they want to also, you know, attain the powers because Kikoku at the end of the day wants to create, you know, these robots. Basically what Pontifex was doing, right? What did Pontifex want? A bunch of mindless robots that can fight on her behalf. Kikoku wants to use this project to figure out AIs that can basically be able to kill and, you know, uh, we can implant those uh, uh, flux lights into the drones that Higa is creating. So, for the same thing, it's just an arms race, right? At the end of the day, Project Addicization is just an arms race to figure out who's gonna have power over these AI soldiers at the end of the day. But that's it for me, man. Uh, today's episode was half of half of uh, fucking Alice popping off, right? Alice popping off, the dragon popping off. Amayori's breath attack was phenomenal. Nice to see the goblins, you know, come back and call us a bunch of EMs yet again. But goddamn, Alice revealing her identity to the villagers, that was so fucking hype. The dad, I understand he's just following orders, but man, that Baldi is just scum. 
and makes me wonder why we even bothered, you know, preventing Pontifex from taking these people. If we were lucky, Pontifex would have snapped their fingers like Thanos and immediately, like, called half the population. And what if it's just the shitty population, like the Baldi? Would have been fucking perfect. Aside from that, we get to see what's happening outside of the game. So, during the raid, um, we safely evacuated to the top, and we're at the stalemate position, where we think that it's gonna be fine because, you know, uh... We're in stalemate, and all we have to do is wait for reinforcements. But it turns out there's a different way for them to be able to, you know, get Alice's floodlights through some sort of ejection mechanism, and it's like a, it's like a race against time. Asna, just get in there. There's an extra STL right over there. It's time for you, the light flash, to get in there and help Kirito regain his sense of self. The ego, maybe it's gonna get filled in when he sees Asna and, and the memories come back. Who knows, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.